right here to fill in this, you can do that. You go to number six. Do another angle. That. So it's overlapping. I know it doesn't work perfect, but that's the best you can do on this. So now, fall on him. Die. And you turn into dust. And to make him get defeated and stuff, like, let's make it so you have to touch his mouth to hurt him. Right in that square. So, what you want to do is go to bank one. And go to... Oh no, bank zero. And go to shift A, which is object 14. And make the shift go up one room. Really, I don't really want to have to do all this. So, you make the shift go up one room, and then make that room a copy of this room. To copy it, go... Where is it? Oh yeah, you go up to screen and say copy. And if you go up one room, then you click paste. It will paste the same room. But you can change it a little bit. You can make, like, more fire or whatever you want to do. Make him get harder and harder. But then when you finally reach the last room, then you beat him. And then you can make your ending movie by pressing Control F. And if you want to make it the very end of the game, you can. And you can, like, edit your scenes. And you can, like, copy this. If you don't want to make it the very end, you can right-click and say New Folder. And name it whatever movie you want. It'll automatically recognize it as a movie if there's a scene in it. Let's name him Boss Ending. And now let's go to the real ending and copy this scene. And then go to Boss Ending and paste this scene. I'll go... I like to go back and forward again so it loads the image. Now you edit that. And let's say I want the boss to blow up which I do. So I'm going to go to Gradients, right click on this, say Edit. Well wait, actually, that's only the background. We also want, like, the whole place. So here's what you do. In order to take a screenshot, what you do is... So first you get it in just... Whoa, how'd that happen? I don't remember myself clicking up there. So what you want to do, to take it, oh yeah, I didn't save it, no wonder. So to take a screenshot, you have to press print scan. It's on the keyboard. On my keyboard, it is, it's spelt P-R-T-S-C, and it's in the top right corner of my keyboard. So I press it right now. And so that basically, that just copied an image. And I click paste, and it just takes that image. And then, the last thing I want to do, this is the last part. You want to carefully cut that out. Perfectly, so it's 600 by 240 pixels. Copy that. Okay, here's the trick. You press Control c to copy. Control a to select all, delete, and Control v There you go. I figured that out myself. And you shrink it down so it's exactly 600 by 240. Has to be exactly. And I would, if I was really making my own boss, I would actually change the teleport so it's not that kind. And it's also invisible. And I would also take the screenshot before he was firing. So that's... You also have to save this by pressing Control S, but I don't want to, because this isn't even a real level. So that's how you would make your own boss. You can also make an intro for him. Oh, and one more thing. To make it so a movie plays, you go to here current screen, and this window will pop up. You select the shift that you want to use to start the movie, so once you, 
once you touch the ship, it'll play the movie. Go to play cutscene and then you select it. And you click boss ending or whatever you named it. So that's how to do it. You can also add sound to your ending movies by going to world properties. And then clicking on cutscene editor right here. You select it. And you can click add sound to that scene. Come on. Oh uh, yeah, this does it sometimes. I exit it out and then try to get that work. Oh, oops. Oh, huh, well, it won't cooperate right now. But it's supposed to open a browse file. Well, a browse window when you press that, but sometimes it doesn't. So, if it does, just... I mean, if it doesn't open it, just try again later. That is how you make your own bosses. Hey!